Hello everyone and welcome to Michigan Bird Nerd on 13 Plus and the 13 on your side YouTube page. I'm Matt Gard and it is winter, it is cold, but I think this is one of the most underrated times of the year to go birding and I'm going to show you why in this episode. So without further ado, bundle up, get your binoculars and let's get started. Today we are in Lamoro Park in Kent County's Plainfield Township, just outside the Grand Rapids city limits. And I believe that this is one of the hidden gems when it comes to going on a nature walk in West Michigan. A dirt path takes you back into the woods where you can enjoy views of the Grand River. The county is pretty transparent on its website that the trails are not groomed, but I think that's a good thing because when you walk through the woods, you get the sense you're enjoying nature as it existed before people started developing the land. And I do want to offer one note of caution. There is a lot of standing water in this park, so in the summertime, the mosquitoes can get pretty unbearable. But I find that Lamoro Park is perfect in the wintertime, along with the early spring and late fall. And it's in the brushy understory of Lamoro Park where we're going to look for today's bird, the American Robin. Now I know at this point you are probably thinking to yourself, Matt, this is an episode about birding in the winter time. Don't robins go south for the winter? And I got to tell you, that is the most common question that I get from my friends and family when it comes to birds. And we are going to answer all of your questions about robin migration later on in the episode. But first, let's identify this bird. You probably don't need much help with this familiar face, but here we go. Robins are anywhere from 8 to 11 inches long. Their plumage is pretty iconic with their black heads, their dark gray wings, their burnt orange breasts and white bellies. You can tell males and females apart because males have more brilliant coloration, whereas females tend to be a little more pale. It can be a subtle difference though, so it can help if you see them side by side. You might also see a juvenile. They're shaped just like the adults are, and they have the same coloration, but their plumage is spotted instead of having those solid colors. Not many birds, including robins, are singing this time of year. However, robins are some of the most notorious songsters in the bird world. In the spring and the summer months, they're probably the first bird voices you're going to hear in the morning, and they're known to keep singing well after the sun has gone down. Here is what their song sounds like. Robins are very familiar visitors to lawns across North America. It is the state bird of Connecticut, the state bird for our neighbors across Lake Michigan in Wisconsin, and the state bird right here in Michigan. Though here in our state, it has not come without controversy. In 1929, the Michigan Audubon Society held a contest to name the state bird, and Robin won out in a close battle with my personal favorite bird, the black cap chickadee. And in 2022, a state representative introduced a bill that would make the state bird the Kirtland's warbler, aka the jack pine warbler. Now that warbler is endangered and it only breeds here in Michigan in select forests. It's even on the conserve wildlife habitat license plates that you've probably seen out there on the roads. But still today, the robin persists as Michigan's state bird. Robins are famous for their love of worms, which is why they visit our lawns so often. And by the way, because robins spend so much time in our lawns, pesticides can be really harmful to them. So just take that into consideration when you're working outside. And aside from worms, robins love to eat insects and snails, and they also really love berries. 
And diet brings us to the answer to the question we posed at the beginning of this episode. Why am I seeing so many robins in the wintertime? Don't they migrate? Well, of course they do. They are some of the most notorious migrators. As a matter of fact, their scientific name is Turtus migratoris. But most robins migrate, not all. There are pros and cons to migrating versus staying put. The obvious reason to migrate is that down south, robins get more of what they need. More food, more insects to eat. The ones that stay here rely on berries. Now, berries are not packed with protein like, say, a worm, so it is risky to stay. But the big advantage that resident robins have over migrant robins is that staying here means when spring arrives, you have pick the litter, so to speak, when it comes to breeding grounds. Migrating robins are exhausted when they get back to Michigan from all of those hundreds of miles of flying, and they're going to have a tough time fighting off well-rested competition if a territorial battle should happen to arise. Robins are some of the most commonly observed nesting birds. They give us a chance to see the miracle of life happen right before our very eyes. Female robins choose nesting sites. They usually build those nests on trees and shrubs hidden by a dense layer of leaves but robins have also been seen nesting on human-made structures like gutters and light fixtures. If you would like to build a potential home for a robin, Cornell University's Project Nest Watch has building instructions for nest platforms on their website. That brings us to the birding tip for this episode. You know, I mentioned earlier in this episode that I think winter is one of the best times to go birding, and there are a lot of reasons for that. For instance, less people go to the parks in the wintertime, so you kind of have a little more privacy and you can hear the birds better. But beyond that, I think the birds have less places to hide. The leaves obviously are not there, so it is easier to see those birds. And if you look behind me, you can see the pond here. Keep an eye on those ponds as winter goes on. Some of them will freeze up. And if you can find the bodies of water that are not frozen over when some bodies of water are frozen over, then that's where the ducks are going to be, the waterfowl. And there are a lot of waterfowl to enjoy here in Michigan in the wintertime. Well, that's it for Michigan Bird Nerd. I am your host, Matt Gard. Catch us again on 13 Plus and the 13 on your side YouTube page. Happy birding, everybody.